Light from the sun is the source of energy for all living things on Earth. Plants use this light energy to produce their own food. Because of this, plants are known as producers. Animals can't make their own food from sunlight. Instead, they get their energy from eating plants and other animals and are known as consumers. So energy passes from the sun to plants and then to animals. Locusts get their energy from eating grass. But what happens to the energy they consume? Like all animals, they convert the food they eat into increased body weight and faeces and release energy through respiration. This energy keeps the locust alive. It's used for movement and lost to the surroundings as heat. So, energy is transferred from the grass to the locust. Some is lost to the surroundings. The rest remains in the locust as increased body weight. The transfer of energy from grass to insect can be measured by taking a locust and weighing it. The mass of this locust is 2.17 grams. The insect is placed into an isolation tank. The grass available for it to eat has a mass of 20.26 grams. It's put into a flask of water to keep it fresh. The locust is left for four days, during which time it eats, breathes, moves, grows and defecates. After four days, all the remaining pieces of grass are collected. The grass not eaten by the locust has a mass of 16.29 grams. This means that the mass of grass eaten is 3.97 grams. Everything in this ecosystem has an amount of energy associated with it. Grass has an energy content of 3 kilojoules per gram. So 3.97 grams of grass contains 11.91 kilojoules of energy. Approximately 12 kilojoules of energy is transferred from the grass to the locust. But how much of this energy was used up and lost to the surroundings through respiration? A respirometer measures the volume of oxygen the locust inhales. It's used to estimate the rate of respiration. A solution of potassium hydroxide in the bottom of the respirometer absorbs all the CO2 breathed out by the locust. As the insect takes in oxygen from its surroundings, the liquid in the manometer will rise up the left-hand side. After 30 minutes, the locust has inhaled enough oxygen to move the red liquid 9 millimetres. A complex calculation shows that this amount of oxygen is associated with the release of 7.15 kilojoules in four days. Approximately seven kilojoules of energy is used to keep the locust alive. The next step is to find out how much energy was transferred to faeces. The locust's faeces are collected and weighed. They have a mass of 0.2 grams and an energy content of approximately 2 kilojoules. When the locust is weighed, it's found to have an increase in body mass of 0.41 grams. Its energy content has increased by 2 kilojoules. So of the 12 kilojoules transferred from the grass to the locust, 7 was transferred to the surroundings through respiration. 2 was transferred to faeces and 2 was converted to body mass and is now available to the next animal in the food chain. But this only adds up to 11 kilojoules. One kilojoule of energy hasn't been accounted for.